Okay. All right. We we did it. We're live. We're live again for the second time today. Very good. Now, maybe it's... Oh, wow. The sun is already set. Oh, no. This is actually dangerous for us. Okay. We need to go and acquire some things for Jet here. Would you do me a favor, Bix? Yeah? Can you look up where to find a pressed white guara for the Taboo Trinity? Sure thing. And in the meantime, we will try and find our way over to the park. Because, uh, this is gonna start getting real dangerous. Real, real deadly premonition too soon. Uh, you see a park anywhere? Deadly Premonition 2 is back again with another obtuse progress gating quest. That's the first line of this article. <laughs> Thanks. Good shit. How about I start making my way back over to the town and you just let me know. Let You're going to want to go to the church. The church? All right. I appreciate... This is... Yeah. This is the kind of game where as much as I'm usually like, hey... Let's do it normally and not look stuff up. No. For these ones, no. like, they like to hide these weird-ass things in weird-ass places and just not tell you where they are. Church. Okay. Now, I wonder if we can get there before stuff starts getting deadly. Premonition. Two. A blessing in disguise. Or if we can even get out of here through this... Okay, yeah, we can. Okay, the only advice I have for you for the time being is go to the church. Alright, we will head to the church. Oh, if we can find our way out of this mess. I love this Sims Builder music. We've said it before, and I'll say it again. But whatever it is about this track specifically, just really makes me feel like I'm about to build a house in The Sims. Like, you've got your Sims all made, you've got your lot picked out, now it's just a matter of putting the pieces all together and starting your new real estate, uh, real estate dynasty. And see, now I'm doubly worried because this is where the, uh, hey, we got a bonus. Nice. This is where the, um, what would you call it? Oh, Joel, why did they randomly add skateboard mechanics in this game? Because, because yes. They randomly added skateboard mechanics in this game. Because in the first one, they randomly added uh, car physics and, or, and uh, car mechanics and driving around in, uh, in automobiles. And it was terrible. And nobody liked it. It was awful. It was the worst part of the game. So instead they said, all right, well, instead of cars, York just rides a skateboard. He's just, uh, yeah, it's basically Thug. It's basically Tony Hawk's Underground for sure. Just instead of the Sims music, imagine you're listening to Gorilla Radio and you've pretty much got it down. Yep. Is this a massive chasm? Yeah. What the hell? Has that always been there? I don't know. It's not even time for Silent Hill yet. And look, there's trees in there. It's true. Which makes me think that it was flooded recently. Oh, pick up that fast travel point. I think I already have it. No, because the balloon's not floating. Oh, I don't know if we have enough time to do this. Nah, do it though. Shit doesn't start coming out until midnight. All right, we got added at drawbridge. And you got $10. Yeah. That's enough to buy, like, two hot dogs or something. That's about the price at of... At least beer. one. At least one. One gourmet hot dog. Listen, one hot dog is enough calories to power you for a week. It's true. People say that, like, peanuts are brain food, but no. If you just hot eat dogs. one hot dog, you're good. 
And if you eat two hot dogs, you're basically Mega Mind. You're basically invincible. Yeah, nobody can stop you. All that Least sodium, of all the police. Because the sodium in your system is gonna, like, it's gonna stiffen you up to the point where it's like PCP, you know? If somebody tries to and punch you- And bullets just bounce off you. Yeah, like, it doesn't even hurt. So that's science. That's some science for you folks at home. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Joel, check this out. We got a Crash Bandicoot swing. How do you like that? Remember what we saw on our way here? Back when we were driving that hybrid car before we switched over to the skateboard. We passed over the Oh, here we go. More skateboard talk. The longest bridge over water in the entire world. Remember the sudden downpour that made it impossible for us to see the road? The rain was so torrential that we couldn't see more than a few miles ahead of us. I'm sure local drivers are used to that sort of thing. They were all I love this scenes. angle. I bet that scene reminded <laughs> you of a certain film or perhaps a certain person. Violent City 1970, directed by Sergio Salima. I only ever saw it on TV when I was a kid, so I don't remember it very well. But I definitely remember that it featured a bridge, a long bridge, during the New Orleans part. That's the one thing I remember. That bridge must have been the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. And the film. Oh god, is this going to be closed by the time we get here actually? Well, you don't have to go in the church. We just have to look around. There's a park nearby. I see. Yes, yes, of course I know that Charles Bronson isn't his real name. Charles Dennis Buczynski. That's his real name. But he's Bronson. Period. Zach, what's your favorite Bronson film? Oh, we already listened to this one, didn't we? About Death Wish? Mm -hmm. Okay. Farewell, friend. They're all masked. In that case, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the park. There's a park nearby. Should be here, right? Yeah. This looks kind of like a park area. Who is that? Is that the dude? Uh, is that David Juara? That's not David. That's uh, the dude from the packing plant. Oh yeah, you're right. Smarty pants. What you want? I want some collectibles. Working makes me hungry, so I eat, then I keep working. Yep, I want to get lots of work done. Yarp. I like you, Avery. Ooh, there's something over here. That might be it. It could be any of these X's on the map. That's true. Anaconda skin. Okay, you're in the right place. Nice. And freshly shed we just need six of these, right? Now let's get a yeah, and they're all here. Run into its former owner. Cool. What do you think God wants with something like this anyway? It's a good question, York. We got no time to stop and think about God. We got to get on our skateboard. Also, I apologize that I keep hitting the uh, pause button because, for whatever reason, I'm still not quite used to the button placement on the Switch controller. Um, like, it was the same thing as uh, when Breath of the Wild first came out, is like mm. the A exactly. and B button. Remember this movie? 1997, directed by Luis Loso. Anaconda. Oh, yeah. This is a terrible <laughs> movie. The movie where the famous John Voight goes crazy with a rifle. Jennifer Lopez, Eric Stoltz, even Owen Wilson and Ice Cube were in it. Ice Cube is <laughs> Is that an all-star cast or what? The scene in the beginning where Danny Trejo climbs up a ladder with a pistol in one hand is a must-see. It stole my heart within the first five minutes. Okay, back to the real world. We're on an important mission right now, aren't we? Yeah, York and time is of yeah. the essence. But time also stops during cutscenes. That's right. It's like, uh... The first time you go out on a date with that girl you really, really like. Or the first time you hold your newborn baby in your arms. Oh. What? What enemy just popped? Oh, bees! bees! Can I, can I power slide into him? Do it! Come on, baby, come on. Oh, doesn't do anything.
Well, okay. Oh, one and done. I expected that to be more problematic. Oh, and of course, we've got this, so that'll help. Got a we'll, safe zone. We'll need that. There was an item, I think. Yeah, there's one over here, and there's one behind us, too. Yeah. Anaconda. Yeah, that movie is Is that terrible. a beehive? Um, probably. What, behind me? Yeah, on a tree. You see it? Yeah. Like, dead that, ahead. That's where they Oh, you can from. shoot it. 25. The only thing t funnier than 24. <laughs> it's not quite as funny as 26, though. Yeah. Um, so Joel... Humor is incremental. We all know this. Joel Now, asks... this is in, uh, Louisiana. Yes. However, the 2005 segments, uh, those take place in Boston. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or sorry, the 2019 segments. This is the 2005 segment. Yeah. The... Everything. That's weird to me. The uh, those segments do take place in the modern day, don't they? Yeah. Then again, I guess the first game was current when it was new. I believe so. Yes, and the. Yeah. So everything with Aaliyah is is modern day. Um. And yeah, this is this is all a precursor to the first game. Come on, come on. About three years ago, I met a man who had a pair of anaconda skin shoes. He said they were a trophy from a snake he hunted and skinned all by himself. Could you kill something and then wear its skin? I couldn't. No thanks. I don't believe that, York. I fail to see any difference between that and a crazed murderer who carries pieces of his victims home with him. You just called out, like, half of my wardrobe for being leather. <laughs> Smoking. Smoking. I never knew that following oracles was such backbreaking work. I really needed this cigarette. I think I'm on the verge of losing my mind. Dude, me too. I'm right there with you. Did Smoking. they ever explain where he got that scar? Ah. Uh, I think so. I... I, I want to say that they did in I the wanna, first game. Yeah, at some point in the first game, I think there was some... Or like, they address it, but they don't explain it. Like, he doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah. Pressed white Gora. He was Gora. Very clear that it had to be pressed. Do they sell pressed flowers in stores here? I think I'm stumped. What is a pressed flower? A pressed flower is exactly what it sounds like. You press a flower to preserve it. Uh, people mm. keep those in, like, scrapbooks and stuff like that. Right. Okay, so once you get the anaconda skins... Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you get a map marker. Okay. Clear! Oh, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here right quick. Actually, well, we get sometimes. Joel, no! I don't want to think oh, about no. that. Me neither. I don't want to think about snakeskin condoms. Not in this game. I saw that and I was like, should I say something? Should I address that? It's fine. Pokemon is uh, is the is the place where you don't address that. Deadly Premonition is fine. This is the kind of world where I imagine... I wonder if... This is This is a weird tangent, I know. I wonder if condoms even exist in the world of Deadly Premonition. I just, I can't see anybody in this universe taking that much time and care and thought. I wonder I if- I can, I can hardly believe the idea that anybody in this universe fucks. That's what that's I'm me. saying, like, I can't, there's, people have children in this world, but Is I that think, a living statue? Or just yeah. a regular statue? This is a regular statue. It's here all okay. the time. In fact, that's David. Is that? What the fuck? David has his own statue outside his hotel. Does that count as an extra David? Yes. Yes. Speaking of, let's go see what David has to tell us about pressed flowers. 
Maybe he can help us get a corsage for that upcoming dance. We'll ask our fairy to. Is David our fairy? I don't want to talk about that. You have to understand it's a personal matter. It's a personal matter. Please don't ask me about David again. Okay, Zach. Let's go talk to our concierge. It'd be impossible for us to find a white Gora all on our own in such a vast area. Hey, David. Welcome back, Mr. Morgan, sir. Thanks, man. Hello there, concierge. Do you mind if I ask you a question? How may I help you, Mr. Morgan? I'm in need of a pressed white Gora. Do you know of a store where I could find one? The Lord Hungus? Ah. I knew it! I knew he would say it! Correct. Jolly good, sir. Boy. In that case, please ask our bellboy. His hobby is pressing flowers, so I'm sure he'll be able to assist you. Okay. I believe that. Say what you want about David Jawara, he's got some range. Yo, bellboy. Help me out, please. I'll be back in the jiffy. If you're in a hurry, head over to the chief. Chef. I've been, th I've been playing too much Halo. I've been thinking about Halo a lot. Thinking about the Master Chef? Thinking about the Master Chef. Oh, wait. Third floor. Wait, who's that? That person looks unique. Kinda. No, I don't think so. No? That just looks like a Louisiana native. I feel like I've... Yeah, I've definitely seen yeah. that all around town. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Are we not going to address his booming voice? We already have. Well... Many times. If you want a reason as to why there is a booming voice, there is none. It's just a universal constant. Maybe we'll meet There's a method again. to the madness. That's right. Oh, I'm sure we will before long. Well, we gotta bring everything back to him, right? Yeah, so we'll see him this session. I'm positive. Got a minute, Chef? What is it, mister? I got my hands full here. Do you know where I might find a pressed white Gora? <sighs> now, what did I tell you? I'm a professional chef. I don't flap my gums about any old thing. If you want to know about the town, you best ask our concierge. But he sent oh, me to no. the bellboy. The bellboy sent me to you, so you can't send me to him because he's going to send me to the bellboy. No, he can. He can and he will. I can't believe I got to go talk to the bellboy. This house of horrors. This never ending cycle. Yo, bellboy. I mean, concierge. Concierge, help me out. I'm presently engaged in other business right now. Please speak to the bellboy if you happen to be in a hurry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bellboy, help me out, please. There he is. May I ask you a question? Oh, you know something cool? Hmm? His pin changes location every time. Here it's on his right? head. It's a lapel when he's in his black suit, and then when he's upstairs as a chef, he's got it on his other hat. Hmm. Sure, boss. What's cracking? Oh, I love this one. I need to find a pressed white Gora. You like flowers, boss? Well, not exactly, but it's the will of God. The Lord Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, David. Excellent, David. Way to cut right to the chase. Do you know yep. where I might find one? Sorry, boss. We only have one white Gora bush in our garden. Yep. Well, can I go use that one? What's the problem? Well, yesterday I picked them all and pressed them, see? That's perfect. Would you mind giving one to me? Sorry, boss. No can do. Why not? What do you mean? I use all the pressed flowers I made to decorate a very special spot, see? Uh-huh. spot? The back room, on the first floor. Okay. The bathroom. Yes, sirree. So, I don't have a single pressed flower left now. Well, then, I'll just go and grab one from the bathroom. I wouldn't do that if I were you, boss. Talk to the hand. Taking a pressed flower from a back room into church? Ah, Jesus ain't gonna like that. 
Jeez. He's gonna have to deal with it, man. I'm sorry, but it looks like you're all out of luck, boss. Try to stop me from committing sacrilege. It's basically all I'm good at. I've made a career out of it up to this point, and I'm not gonna stop now. Look at those portraits on that wall when you come out. Oh, we'll look at them now. There's... Uh, look at that one, dude. This one in the middle here. Uh-huh. And this one who kind of looks like Voldemort from Harry Potter. A little bit. A little bit. This dude is a Saints Row character. Easily. And that one's La La Land 2, directed by David Lynch. Yeah. La La Land 2, La 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 Land. Or a hotel. The key to charming your customers is how you present your bathroom. I'm sure you feel the same way, don't you, Zach? Now this... This is the kind of bathroom a person can really get excited about. Now this is what I'm talking about. It might even trump the one we saw in that drug dealer's house in Austin. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> the art piece on display in there utilized the natural curves of human ribs in such a novel what? way. What? I'm sorry? Truly brilliant. What do you mean? Okay. Give me some flowers, please. Wow. Wait, what? Deep south. Deep south. Wait, is this the bathroom? <laughs> is this yes. the bathroom stall? It's bigger on the inside. It's all one big stall now. Where's the crapper? There it is. God damn it. <clears throat> what the fuck? There's oh, only one stall? There's only one stall. Oh, okay. Zach, deep south. Also of course. A whirling butterfly. They certainly look just as beautiful as one. Never thought I'd ever have to pick a flower from a bathroom and deliver it to a church. <laughs> but he left us no choice. That's right, Jesus. This is your fault. Did he, Zach? This isn't even a bathroom. This is a shrine. God himself commanded us to carry Pretty out much. this very act. He did. Therefore, I'm simply doing as I'm told. My own will has nothing to do with it. Much like these voodoo dolls. We never get to engage in adventures like these while living in the city, do we, Zach? No, the cases of the city are honestly quite boring. Who wants to fish through the garbage for a missing corpse's genitals? Or <laughs> a stray bullet that got lodged into a moving taxi? Talk about stupid. And usually it's all just a formality so that we can accuse a criminal who's been obviously guilty since day one. If I have to search for something, much rather search for something out here. It's just so much more dramatic. I can get There's that animation. This is the countryside. Right in front of the camera, that one. Mm-hmm. Don't you, Zach? They're clipping through him. Like, through his shoulder. Yeah, a little bit. You should probably get that fixed. Clear. All right. Now we're on our way back to Jet. Let's uh You should probably uh I think I have does some... the water work yet? Did you fix the water? No, we couldn't yet. Um let me see if we have any perfume, because I think we bought some. What's the deal with the water though? The water you have to go to a specific spot to turn it on. Uh didn't we figure that out? I thought we did. Well, I, I don't remember if we actually turned it on or not. Let's. I, mean, I let's... remember you turned the thing in the in the cafe. Oh, so maybe we did turn it on, but we just couldn't use it yet, or something. I don't think you got a clear from it. Or maybe. Maybe, maybe... you just didn't try. Maybe we turned it on, and then we had already used the perfume, so by that point... There... The yeah, shower. There's no... Yeah, there's no prompt or anything. Check your log? Let's see what we got here. The elusive water valve. Yeah. 
Uh, 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 uh. Go hear something from Bellboy. Monday to Friday, 9 to 11, 20 to 2200. All right, what are we looking at here? What have we got? What's the time? The current time is... 20.09 on Monday. So let's get so, back to the bellboy. Yeah. Yo, BB. Bellboy. Bellboy! My dude, my man, my friend. Hey, boss! I highly recommend you check out one of these Wyvern hotspots. If you're curious, you just need to try it out. Next time you order a ride, ask to go to a hot spot. Oh, is this why? This is why, because I tried to go to talk to him and then he bumped me into this fucking quest that I can't get out of. Yeah, I remember now. This, oh. Oh, uh, this game. This is gonna have to be one of those things where I maybe have to do these Florida Lee things off screen. Because we tried it the first time. And we ended up wasting a lot of time on it. Yeah, I remember now. So, if I load into this thing and I don't immediately see what I'm supposed to be looking for, I'm gonna quit and just go back to the main thing and try to go to Jet. Was the time right? Uh... I feel like the time wasn't right. It's possible. I feel like you were an hour early. How's the investigation coming? Must be going well if you're on the case. You know what? No, the quest log is in military time. Thanks for calling me. Why, Vern? The new cutting edge transportation service will come to you wherever you are. Goodbye now. Take it easy, Raven. Uh, yeah, Joel, so the both the mission and quest timers are in uh are properly in um military time military time uh just this, this initial d music i completely forgot um but yeah just because we were we were currently god i i'm sorry this music is really distracting me we gotta go back to the church but no they're they're, they're all in military time Come on, Yahoo. Gotta speed us. The fact that your last name is Yahoo makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't feel like I should be calling you that. Hmm. Check, check the mission log again, though. Um, hold on. Just humor me. Okay. Oh, the time was right. Yeah, I thought we were fine. It was 20 and 2200, so. What the fuck? Maybe this just overwrites it? Let's come back during business. Okay, well. Fuck! When does this one open up? Not for the next, like, probably 10 hours. No, probably not. I'm gonna look that up. Let's see. Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. All right, so we've just got to go back to a safe spot and, uh, I guess, smoke until 7 in the morning. Which is, I mean, it's one way to spend the day. Luckily, there is one right here. Oh my god! What? I don't know if they changed this, but apparently if your BO gets bad enough, you will get a fine of 100 to $300 every time you talk to someone. That's awesome. That's incredible. So it's imperative that you do this side quest as quickly as possible. Or you just keep ignoring it, like, over and over and over again, and just keep buying, uh, do we not have cigarettes? No, we must. We must have cigarettes. I, okay, yeah, I remember buying these. I was like, what the fuck? 
And we'll take some... Oh, we can't. Okay. Take some bullets out. Take some cigarettes in. And then we'll smoke them if we got them. Which we do. Luckily, perfume is so cheap that you can just... If you choose to ignore it, I, you can ignore it. It's fine. Okay, let's see here. Now, what is 7 o'clock in military time? Uh, 7 o'clock, unless you mean yeah. 7 in the evening. No, no, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Look at this Silent Hill shit. Yeah, there it is. Night has fallen, so Patricia went home. Well? Zach, how about we grab a bite to eat? <laughs> straight on an empty stomach. What the fuck is that? Wait. What? Why can't Are those we... fucking doors? <clears throat> yes. I'm guessing they're incorporeal and they can't hurt you while you're in here or something. I guess. Can we They use... can't see you. They can't see you. All right. Our time is now, so let's go ahead and have some more cigarettes if it'll let us. Because your time is not now. They can't see us. Our time is roughly four hours in the future. Yeah, that's... That's just ominous as shit. Oh, and you... It's can, okay, it's better now. You can see that, um... You can see that effect in the sky real easy when it, uh... When it switches over like that. Yeah? Yeah. It's way more pronounced, I think, when it's red. Let's, uh, let's skate our way back over there. This game is like a constant... It really doesn't want to be played for an audience. It's like it's constantly trying really, really hard to waste as much time as possible. Mm-hmm. It's like Skyrim. Look, let's come back later. What? It's a little early. Check again. It's Check seven... your map. 30 in the morning. It's fine. not yet. Not yet. Isn't it 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on a Tuesday? Yeah. Monday to Thursday. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So what? What? Huh. What the fuck? I may be stupid, but I know how to read military time. And the map isn't in military time anyway. So what's... What's the deal, Swery? Why you do this to me? Why you do this, Swery? Okay, well what else do we got in the meantime? We've just got this. Bees. And a bunch of side quests. Okay. I'm so confused. Maybe if we travel... try now. No. No. Is he? He's got to be in the building because that's where the quest marker is. So let's smoke one more time, I guess. Pass some. Guess uh... so. Pass Do... another hour or two. Do a light smoke. Can you do, like, two hours? Yeah, I got a middle cigarette. Yeah, do two hours. And if it still doesn't work, go talk to David again. God, this is so funny. <clears throat> it's so stupid. Jet, please. Please, Jet. Let me in. We got shit to do. I have your bullshit. Okay, All right. I guess 7 o'clock in the morning doesn't mean 7 o'clock in the morning. I guess it means 9 o'clock in the morning. Evidently. You when you what... get right down to it, a 7 is just a funny looking 9. You know what it probably is? We probably hmm. have to wait for him to physically get there. Probably. And his path maybe starts at 7 for him, and he has to walk all the way over here. 
He doesn't live far, though. No, probably not. This is the perfect game to watch someone play because I never want to touch this hot mess. You're yeah, right, I'm with Joel. you on that one. That's why I'm playing it. Heavenly. Truly heavenly. He threw away all the spam, the red beans, and he the threw spam. it away. I don't believe this. All this time, he was only after the. <laughs> Be quiet, Agent York. He's doing holy work. Just be quiet and watch. What a fragrant press flower. Thank you. He made bongos? Blessing, oh yes, Zack. As fragrant as a urinal cake. Did he make bongos? Behold, it is finished. He sure did. <laughs> Lord, is it rapture? Take this, my lambs, and let it serve you. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it actually does something. Jet. What the? <laughs> Jet. What did you make? Are you okay, buddy? What did you make in shop class? York. Folks say Pastor Sanders' instruments have special powers. Special powers? Yes, it is the truth, my lost lambs. Have faith. I love how much he hates the side quest. <laughs> it's not a side quest either. Each instrument I know. This is plot. In your case, you were blessed with three drums and a special flower. This is the will of the Lord. You must accept it and have faith. <laughs> If you ever find yourself lost again, return to me at any time. No. Oh my god. Patty Never Richards. again. Do you have an instrument too? Huh? Me? Of course not. Why would I ever want one of those stupid things? I'm Whoa. fine just watching you adults play your silly little games. <sighs> Zack, the pressed flower we took from the bathroom ended up coming straight back to us. It's true. Jesus will not like this. Clear. A special sacred instrument crafted by Pastor Sanders. Each person's instrument is unique. Can you just use it? What does it do? Uh, let's find out. I'm assuming it's just a use item. Is but it, it might be might be a key item. It's probably a key item. Can you check your key items? Yes. I can. Is it album? No, no that's, that's Fleur de Lis. for the Fleur de Lis. Mm. Uh, maybe, maybe it comes into play later. I do... Oh, stats and items. Okay. <sighs> items, key items. Key items. There we go. Yep. Eerie drum. It will come into play later, I guess. Guess so. Seems that way. Seems that way. Wait, okay. Where do I have to go next? Uh. Doesn't say. Okay. Let's just leave. You're looking for that stylish woman, remember? Come on, Patty. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you're right. We're looking for, uh, for the stylish woman. Yeah, no, Joel says in chat, there's so much padding, and it's like, it's weird, because this is not a long game, either. Like, even with the padding, this is the halfway point. Returning to Tyrone is, is basically halfway, because there are four chapters. <clears throat> this is the end of chapter two, just about. And chapter four is like three missions long. So... Yeah, we're... It's, it's weird. It's not even so much padding as much as it's just, like, strange pacing. Like, really strange pacing. And we're still loading. Still loading. Good thing I've got my trusty coffee cup here with me. Back to the load. Hey, Agent York, what's next? I don't know. What's next? Our next stop is that stylish woman's house. Radical. Her name is Helena Doman, and apparently she lives in this town. What? You want 
wanna go meet her? You know her? Uh, yeah. Everyone calls her Lena. Hey, how'd you figure out her name anyway? Yeah, that's a good question. That's true. No one told me. Verbally. What? By pure chance, Zack and I happened to acquire this. We picked it up from the ground while the pastor was busy crying. <laughs> Patty, this is a prescription for a female hormone medication. Ah. Which means this person is undergoing hormone treatment. Understand? It's the oracle. Okay. This is the ticket to the goddess that we were meant to find at the White Hall. I huh. just remembered something that Melvin said to me in the holding cell. Professor R isn't exactly a normal woman, according to him. Now it all makes sense, Patty. Lena Doman is the stylish woman we've been searching for. Professor R in the flesh. Well, let's go find her. No, Agent York. You might actually have some talent after all. Yo, you ever seen me bowl? Yes, I'll be it's fucking crazy. You. Both Zach and I are extremely talented. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So I hope you can trust us and continue working as our assistant. I have no response to that. Cool. Alright, so on to the next mission. Oh, she's... That's uh, she's a bit of a hike. You might want to fast travel to that. I don't necessarily want to fast travel everywhere because fast travel does cost money. Um, you should uh, maybe eat a hot dog, though. Yeah, we can eat a hot dog. So, something that I would say also is um, for anybody watching this in the future or anybody indeed watching live, there is some... There's some talk about this game as to, like, whether or not they treat um, transgendered people well in this game. Because, as you can probably tell, that's where this is going. And it's weird because it flips, it flip-flops. When we first encountered Professor R and first started talking about Professor R, uh, York was, like, totally on the money. It was like, hey, whatever a person identifies as is what they identify as that's what they are and that's awesome um he is not a hundred percent consistent in this to the point where sweary got a lot of uh got a lot of flack for some of the conversations in this game surrounding professor r and it was essentially he said look i plan on i this was this was arrogance on, or uh, ignorance on my part um, and I plan on basically patching it out and writing in some new dialogue and kind of fixing the scene up that to my knowledge has not dropped so whatever the complaints are in this game I don't know what they relate to but we will be we'll be seeing them uh, depending on what gets changed I may or may not decide to return to it in a later uh in a, in a later revision you know go back to it or might just pull it up on youtube and take a look at it that way but as of now it uh whatever content in there i'm not privy to it but i know that it has not yet been changed but that they plan to change it and here we are the address on the prescription led us to this house Seems like she ain't home. No lights on either. Well, who would have lights on during the day? Yeah, Patty. You didn't learn that from CSI? <laughs> Open up. Open up. Professor R's never home, you know. Is that right? Why do you know so much about Professor R? What are you keeping from me? I don't know that much, really. What are you keeping from me? But you're the first person in town who mentioned her name to me. You also knew about San Rouge, didn't you? Point. And when I tried to ask you more... My finger points. Uh, he's looking directly over her head, too. <laughs> you're my assistant, aren't you? If you are... Then you need to tell me everything you know about this case. 
Daddy don't like Lena. Oh? He said it's oh. stupid for a man to want to turn into a woman. Oh, come oh. on, Melvin. What? And he told me I ain't supposed to talk about her. He said that if you knew someone like her was living here, Agent York, you'd start to hate this town. Melvin, what the fuck? That's ridiculous. What the fuck? Why would I ever hate this town? Straight up, York is like, no. Because one of its inhabitants is transgender? Why in the world would that make a difference to me? The other folks in town said the same thing as Daddy. They all know about Sam Rouge and Professor R. And about how she's waging war against the Clarksons. This is really well, bad. Well, she sounds fucking awesome. The fuck? But Fight the power. We ain't supposed to talk about it. This is such a bad angle for this shot. Why? Oh no, it's okay, Patty. And oh no. I'd assumed that ignorant way of thinking died out with the 20th century. Nope. You'd be wrong. You got some bad really news for you, York. After all, I thought that everyone was cooperating with my investigation, but it turns out they were all hiding key information from me. He sounds like genuinely pissed too. Yeah, he's actually pissed about this. This just made me hate the countryside for the first time in my entire life. <laughs> That's a good reading. No! Crying. Patty, don't crying. Oh. Don't make Sorry that face. So loud, Patricia. Don't make that... Don't make that face. But just remember this. Point. Person's birthplace, My finger points. Nature, race, and physical features have no bearing on their value as a human being. Say it louder! We're always free. And we should respect each other just the way we are. For the people in the back. So you shouldn't feel a need to hate Lena for no reason. No matter what the people around you say, you can't let them control you. Sometimes things like common sense and decency can end up deeply hurting other people. I sincerely hope you don't forget that. Okay, I won't. I mean, York is pretty on it so far. But yes. If Lena's committed a crime, that's a different story altogether. She may be a social minority, but she's still free and capable of knowing the difference between right and wrong. Professor R. I sincerely hope she's smart enough to understand that. So, clear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Yeah! What's awesome. up, Mugan? Yep, we just completed chapter two. Listen to the two ends and drink dry the fire. Oh, well, this one is, that's right. Do this, and you will see the other world. My, oh, is it time the, for the other world again? I saw the other world, though, like 10 minutes ago. Zach, did you hear that? It's another oracle. I assume this means we're getting closer to the truth. Well, this is good. We don't have any other big clues at the moment. What do you say we continue the skeletal gentleman's game? Yeah, that's what I said when I first asked you if you wanted to stream today. It's true. And I'm Oracle down to continue. Oracle decryption start! Yeah! I spent the 90s listening to nothing but punk rock. Yeah! I'm out of touch with music. But the digital audio player I received last Christmas changed everything. Nowadays, people can walk around with thousands of songs in their pockets. You following me here, Zach? That's right. It's awesome, isn't it? Oracle. Yo, iPods are cool. Music. Oh, you see that typo? You, neither I did not. I was too events. busy moving my chair. What was it? Up on top. They forgot a space. Listen to the two end sand drink. Yep, there you go. Boy, oh boy. They refer to the last letter of the alphabet. That's not getting patched out. And no. That has two C's in it. Yes. Remember, we're in Louisiana here. The fire water is even easier. It's alcohol. Mm hmm. Let's go to that jazz yep. bar and have a drink while we consider our next plan of action. Don't worry. This is all part of our job, isn't it, Zach? That sounds like an awesome idea. Yeah, bring it on. Oracle decryption complete. 